Oh, hello, welcome to the very, a very nice day actually. The weather is going great. We're back with the vlogs. I want to do more of them from now. Normally YouTubers are like, a new year, new me, do it every day, not me. What I'm doing is starting it in April, on April 1st, which is rather bizarre. Anyway, so first things first, the Mini. There's a few little bits I want to get done to it. A lot of people still don't know about the Mini. <laughs> I've had it for a while now. I'll be making a video talking about why I got the Mini and not something else very, very shortly. Well, first, we have got an iCar Pro, as this is called. I did some research on the Minis before I got it. Obviously, that's what you do. Uh, you can do a lot of programming to Minis because they are very BMW. For those that don't know, you can do a lot to BMWs by coding it. I'm gonna use some BIMA code, is what the application is called today, and make it so that the Mini can do a heck of a lot more stuff. Like, for example, starting in sport mode, please. <laughs> I guess I turn on the ignition, make sure the radio is off. Connect my Bluetooth, press connect on here, mini, come on, please work, I want to code my mini. Identifying ECUs, we're in, I think we're in lads, we've got it. And just like that we have got it. You see a bunch of the options here, active sound design, which I believe is probably to do with the fake sound that you get in the cabin and stuff, air conditioning, all this kind of stuff. Digital speed and onboard computer, there's a bunch of stuff in here that you could actually change, fuel consumption display maximum value, change the low fuel warning, there's whole, there's loads of stuff in here. About 20 minutes later we have coded a bunch of stuff to the Mini and I'm going to give it a go now. So uh, I've tried a few different things, I'm going to just start the engine to begin with. And some people that know the Mini will see that we started in sport mode, which is generally not what happens if you have the selective toggle here. I have to reset the air conditioning, so I'm going to hold it at 1.5 revs. Okay, so this is new. Generally, cars don't actually make a noise when you lock them in the UK. You can turn it on and off, which is quite cool, so... Very strange to hear a car do that in the UK. I've also enabled the comfort controls, so the sunroof and such, and the wi mirrors and windows and... Well, the mirrors I don't think actually fold away on this one, but it does everything else. And I think another thing I enabled should give us daytime running lights. I don't know if you can really see, but the lights are actually on. Normally, they wouldn't be for running lights. At least that's what the app says. I'm gonna trust what the app says, because it's a pretty good app. So that's Bimmer code. Since the last video, I have actually cleaned the car. I promise you, I have. But today, there is actually something that I don't know if anyone genuinely spotted. I don't believe they did. Uh, in the video, I may have cut the wrong wire. Apparently, per light side is a little bit different. And uh, so, the inner ring isn't working as correctly as I wanted it to. So, I've cut or haven't cut the right cable. We'll see. It's looking nice and clean, very nice. And because I don't want to run the engine, I should be pushing again. I honestly wish people could smell. I wish you could smell how good this, this car smells. Like, the inside, I've never smelled a car smell this good. I don't know what it was. Was it something to, fl like, do the air conditioning? Maybe he paid to have the air conditioning, like, have a scent? Because it smells bloody gorgeous. Anywho, the lights are here. Wow, that was smooth, wasn't it? Uh, and you can see a reflection, which means it's probably clean. Let me remember which... It is, if it's just the running lights. So the running lights, no, they're absolutely fine. They look better from a distance, because you kind of can't see the individual LEDs, but up close, you can see the individual LEDs. I know the running lights are perfect. Inner diodes are off, the outer diodes on. There are some people like, eyes rising the skylight, listen. I said at the beginning that I didn't really want to do much to the car. I've kind of changed my mind on that a little bit. I don't want to be doing anything absolutely massively crazy because this car, as it is, looks fantastic, but I am going to be changing quite a few bits to it. And the good thing is, if you didn't know, you can keep the older bits. And then when you decide, oh, I want to put it back again, you can do that. I got bits here, the lights are in there. We've got blue bits up here, which are the old splitters, which would be replacing the carbon ones. If I wanted to, it's all simple. And there's the wheel and the airbag, in case you wanted to. Anyway, let's get on with this thing.
That took all but 10 minutes actually, which is a lot quicker than it was before. I'm using my little uh, Halford jack to see. Yeah, the brake lights should be working now to test. Really should have tested it beforehand, but luckily, all good. So that's the brakes. Now, a lot of people also tell me about the LEDs for here. Uh, you can actually also get LEDs here and here, for those that didn't know. Uh, this is a fog light. I don't know if they have them all around the world, but this is a reverse light, fog light. It's another tail light. Um, I'm possibly going to be doing those, probably, because it looks a bit silly having LEDs and not LEDs on these, but I wanted to get the more expensive lights out of the way first. The more prominent lights, no point in doing LEDs on the other ones, and then not having enough to buy the actual proper lights, but um, all good in the hood there. The idea for today's video was just to kind of play with the format a little bit. Um, normally on this channel, I do very heavy, like cinematic stuff, and I thought, well, this time around, I kind of want to do a little bit away from that and uh, do a bit more vloggy-ness to kind of, uh, just to play around to see what people think of each format. But uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much gonna do it. I guess one other little thing that I wanted to mention, I wanted to show another cleaning product that I just started using, mainly this uh, ceramic wax. I do want to get into waxing and stuff my car properly eventually, especially the wrap waxing wraps is a little bit different, I believe. You just, there's things you can do and things you can't do, and I, I just wanna make sure I get it all right, so that's why I haven't generally just gone out and bought everything I need. I wanna make sure stuff works with paint and wraps without dis discoloring the wrap, because again, it is a very special wrap, and uh, I wanna look after it for as long as I can, which I do wanna change it at some point, but anyway, so I've been using that pretty good so far. Can't really comment on, imagine like how well it's working right now. Obviously that's gonna develop over in the future, so I can let you know how that's working. But uh, other than that, I think we're pretty much done. Uh, I am going to be, as I mentioned last video, going to Santa Pod on the 7th for the Fast Show. So if you wanna come to that, it would mean a lot to see you there. Um, I'm hoping hoping to be taking the skyline, obviously. That's if the weather turns out incredible, which by the looks of it, it's been bloody amazing all week. Photo opportunistic weather, I would say. And obviously I wanna bring a bunch of stuff to the show to help me clean the car once I get there because it is a little bit of a trek. But thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the more vloggy format. As I said, let me know. I wanna be posting a little bit more to this channel, whether that means I'm just throwing in not just car stuff, but a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I'm going to be doing that. Looking forward to this month, it's April. We're gonna be getting a whole bunch of stuff done to the cars, more so the Skyline. But yeah, be sure to smash like, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.